Hey people, this is Wee187 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XII International Zodiac Job System in English. In the last video, we were getting through the Namiansa Sansi, we did the side quest and we fought Mega Bomb. And in this video, we are going to be continuing and hopefully getting to the boss. I hope we can get to the boss. Let's see, over here is, um... Ah, don't hit the trap, good. Yep, here are the Ensa that I was talking about last video. Uh, they, I think you can, like, get good drops for them for something later on. I don't know, I don't really, ah, I don't really, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't really keep up with this stuff. Wow, I'm tired. I'm, like, recording this, like, two minutes after the last video, so. And, oh, we got balance. That's useful. And 56 skill. Balance is a really awesome spell to use if you're, like, near death, because it does, like, a fraction of, uh, what, like, how do I explain it? It does, like, based on your max HP, it'll do that much damage based on where your current HP is now. Um, it's more dangerous when a, when an enemy uses it, because when an enemy uses it, um, they have, like, a, a lot of, there's another reason, they have, like, a lot of HP, they'll have, like, some like, 20,000 HP, some bosses, and then they'll use it, and if they got, like, 100 HP left, they can, like, instantly KO everyone, because they'll do, like, 19,000 damage and stuff, and it's crazy. At least in this version, because there's no damage cap. In the English version, you may be able to survive a lot of balances, but here it's harder. Oh, not try it. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. Continuing on over here, we got these little, um, what are they called? Axe beaks. They're weak to water and stuff. You know, I feel bad about not using Fran. I'm gonna probably put her in and, like, use her out of pity. I don't have the gambits for her, though. I really don't. And I don't have the money. Ah. I'm gonna have to do all that stuff. I'll have to control her, but she needs leveling. She's only level 16. I'm sorry, Bosh. Alright, Fran. Yay. Cure. Fran's gonna have higher magic too. How are our license points? Oh, we got a lot of LP to spend. Well, we'll get to that soon. Um, actually, she doesn't attack that bad. I mean, for this point in the game, it'll really be crap later. But right now, I can just have her attack until we buy the gambits. Especially since we have Vossler, he sort of like makes up what for what Fran is lacking for. And we're gonna get an item that I'm gonna put on Fran really soon because she's underleveled. See, she only she doesn't even have 500 HP yet. That's sad. But then again, she's a black mage, so black mages generally don't have that much HP. But we want to head over here. Yeah, we have Libra into this area. This area is actually uh, actually <laughs> actually optional. Um, and see, watch out! There are traps here. You can step on them if you're not careful. Just run past him like a good boy, and you should be fine. And kill this axe beak. Blue chicken. What happened to White Hen? If any of you, like, live in the U.S., there used to be, like, this pantry store called White Hen that, like, disappeared. Maybe, like, 7-Eleven bought him out or something. Alright. Let's hit up here. Those big goalies, they're actually, you can get good experience off of them. Yeah, Fran's gonna be our mage then. Right now. She's, well, she's a mage, but. Ah, uh, we have no arrow. I don't know why I don't have arrow. I thought I usually have it by now, but. I didn't go that much shopping either, so... Let's go on over here. And that's what I came here for, the embroidered tippet. You know what that does? That doubles experience earned. I'm gonna put that on Fran, like, right now. Let's see... I don't know if she can wear it. 
No, she can't. Yeah, she doubles the XP earned. Alright, Fran, it's time for a tune-up. Oh, and plus 70 HP there, too. I'll get that really quickly. Okay. Where would it be? What I love about this game is you can see, like, the, the licenses that are far away from you, so you can kind of know how to plan. Come on, where is it? Can't be that far in. Oh, here it is. Okay. So we got that, and I'm gonna grab Poach, too. It's not that useful, but... We got what we really came here for. Let's put that embroidered tippet on. Now, Fran should be leveling up nice and fast, and that'll make up for her loss of good spells, I guess. She already leveled up, didn't she? I wasn't even paying attention. She's level 17 now, as soon as I put that on. Wow, and here's a remedy. That's nice, too. Alright, continuing on over here. We're gonna go back down. There's actually a hunt I could have activated at this point, but... Since I'm not that... Like, over-leveled or anything right now, I'm actually... I gotta say, now we're at normal levels, but for me, I'm kind of moderately under-leveled. On my standards. my I set my standards kind of high, though, so... Oh, treasure. And it's a potion. But I'm going to take time and kill these Begolias because they're fun to kill. And I'm going to go back to Ash. And now Ash doesn't have to waste time healing. At least for now. Later on, she'll have to. Am I going the right way? I don't know if I'm going the right way. Um, yeah, we're going deeper in. It just goes north. I'm not used to that. See, there's like tons of begolies here. And smack. Ash is so awesome. And you need to die. I need to drop your little. Like, I like how when they die, they drop their. Loot drops, their initial one is like a pouch of money. I think that's kind of cool. And later on, they drop coins. Too big for that pouch of money. And we got an Ares gem. And what did we get? We got a windstone. Okay. And a high potion. We're really. No, we have eight high potions, but still, better than nothing, really. Oh, did I? No, that's just a wyvern. Okay. Um, actually, we can attack it. The only one that, who can't is Ash, and she can, like, spend time just pretending to attack. As... Ah, uh, I should have gotten Fran out of there. Oh, he's already almost dead. Jeez. Alright, let's head over here. These guys. More Begolies. Boom. Whoa, my eyes are just starting to water right now. I don't know why. Ooh, who leveled up? Oh, Ash, you're level 20. Awesome. Alright. You be dead. I don't know if we're going to get to the boss in this video. We might be able to. We have time. I just want to grab these. A heavy coat, that's cool. A high ether, wow, that's really cool. Alright, and last thing. Whoa, that's a lot of gill. Just kidding, I knew that was going to be gill though, so. Um, Bosch can wear that heavy coat. So I'll put that on him. And what? It, yeah, Bash is a monk, so I think when we get to the boss, I'm going to take out Fran because she's going to be kind of useless. Since we have Ash to heal, and that's all she can really do. 
Alright, let's get out of here. I want to get to the boss in this video. We got five minutes. We can do it. But I don't want to leave these guys unkilled. I love the music here. It's Roby Step music. I'm so glad they changed it. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm not. Never mind. Yay, Fran. You're level 18. You're joining with the rest of us. Actually, she's higher than Vaughn now and Canelo. But I like to leave the embroidered tippet on uh, Fran for quite a while because she's a black mage. Like, on her own, she's kind of weak. Let's ignore those guys. Why am I a Vossler? And there's going to be a shop here. Dice. This guy is cool. I named a character in my story after him. I think he has a really awesome name. It's actually short for Dicedarg, who is Rams's older brother in Final Fantasy Tactics. I mean, it's not the same guy, of course, but... Same name. Dice is short for Dicedarg. Final Fantasy Tactics is an awesome game. Oh, wow, I have the option of saving my game. You only get this option, like, like two or three times throughout the game. Uh, yeah, let's save. Do to do to do. And we're done saving. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely beat the boss in this video. Definitely. And this is Racewall's tomb. There's like this huge cavern that takes you to it. I wish like you could have walked in the cavern. It's one thing I don't like about 12 is zone lines. Ugh. I mean I don't like I don't dislike them, but they cut out such they cut out like chunks of places that I'd like to explore. Like that little cave leading into it. But that's beside the point. Let's get Fran out of there, let's get Bosch in there. Actually, I might... Nah, we need a healer. So I'll keep Ash in there. I was going to say, I can like bring in Vaughn there because he has a crossbow, but he may need to heal. And I want to use those extra berries. She can attack with that. And here's the boss, Garuda. Garuda, Garuda, Garuda. Alright, right away I want to use those extra berries. Do some beginning damage on that. See, it doesn't do much, but it does enough. See, it's just going down. This boss is really a pushover. Actually, I could probably bring in Vaughn. Vaughn, attack away, because I don't need to really heal that much right now. Boom, see? Just going down, that boss is dead. We did it in like under a minute. That boss is so easy. Unless, of course, if you're really under leveled, it'll be hard, but it sh you shouldn't be under leveled. Congratulations! Like some fighting game. Congratulations. Alright, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to cut off the video here. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, we'll get on to, uh, to King Racewall's tomb. See ya.